All right. So today uh, we learn how to calculate the standard deviation of within the group and the overall standard deviation for subgroup size equal one by using Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. Uh, for, for example, we have uh, we have a fifty data points. Okay, so we have fifty data points. We have fifty data points. So the number of data point is equal fifty. Okay, and now we will calculate the standard deviation mean and standard deviation of R. and then we can collect the CPK and BPK accordingly Okay. So the question is how to calculate the standard deviation and the standard uh, for, uh, within and standard deviation overall. So for the sense, uh, standard deviation within is equal to is equal to average moving range. Divide by D two double D. Okay. So what is average moving range, and how to calculate average moving range? So average moving range is equal to the sum of moving range. Moving chain to produce moving chain to produce one two over range and divide by n minus w. Plus one, okay. So what is W? W is the observation. W is number of the W is number of observation used in the moving range. Moving range, okay. So normally we use the moving range for the two data points. So the W is two. Okay. So let's calculate the moving range for the W. So we have this here. It is one. W is two, right? W is two. So we have here moving range two and moving range. Moving range three and two the moving range and moving range fifty. So how to calculate the moving range two is one is absolute value of the second point, a second data point minus the first first data point. Okay, the moving range three is absolute value of the third value minus the second value okay and we do this for the remaining okay so we get the moving range of uh, from the moving range 2 to moving range to moving range 50 okay so now the we can relate the average moving range each one is total of this one divide by 
n minus w n <coughs> plus 1 okay so we have here uh, for the d2 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 w in this one or this because the w is equal to then we have d2 2 so how to get this number so we use the unbiasing un table to get it d2 so we have here we have d2 here d2 so because W here's W is two W is two so we have D two is equal one point one two eight okay one point one two eight okay from this one we will have the standard deviation uh, within standard deviation this one is equal to average moving range divided by d2 okay for the overall uh, standard deviation we use it formula see this one this one choose this data range okay okay now we need to calculate the cpk and ppk okay for example our as uh, lower spec limit is 8.5 and upper spec limit is 11.5.5 okay so we have cpk for lower specification limit is equal to uh yeah, we can we can let mean and mean mean So in here, special CPKL is equal to mean minus the lower spec limit, specification limit, divided by three, three sigma. Okay, and this one is equal to this one. Equal to this one minus this one divided by the standard deviation within. Okay, let's see, let's see. This one is it okay? For the CPK, we get the mean, the minimum number of CPK L and CPK U. For the PPK, we do the same. This one equal to this one. Each one three okay okay this one this one okay so we have uh, already we calculate the standard deviation for the within and overall. Okay, so now we see how the mini tough bridge out. Data and they do the mini tab and we do capability analysis 8.5 and 11.5. Okay, so suppose side equal one. Okay, so we copy this one, paste it here. So 
So you see, okay, you see the sample mean, uh, standard deviation, mixing standard deviation. Okay. This data, okay, to the mid tab and to capability analysis. Point five and eleven point five. Okay, so sub root size equal one. Okay, and you copy this one. Paste it here. So you see, okay, you see the sample mean, uh, standard deviation, mixing standard deviation. Okay. Okay, so 